Hi folks, this is Jake, Hope you're okay today. We're looking at this book and we're looking at um, Visa Vermeer's. Again, he's one of the great scholars on historical Jesus studies and uh, he's wrote many, many books. Um, again, I don't agree with everything he says. This scholar, I am evangelical, believe the Bible's fully inspired, this guy doesn't, etc. But is one of the great scholars in historical Jesus studies and if you want to regard yourself as a bit of a scholar then you at least need to have read something of the mess also again many of the internet skeptics many of the uh, pseudo scholars that the skeptics have don't engage with scholars um, like this and um, they're really anti-intellectual um, so without further ado we shall read a little bit uh, about Vermeer's here this is Keys of Vermeer's obituary in the uh, the Guardian Gomez who has died age 88 was one of the world's leading authorities on the origins of Christianity in the early 1950s he completed his first ever doctorate on the Dead Sea Scrolls a risk, risky topic to choose in 1947 an Arabic Shepherd had chanced upon the first scrolls text written in ancient Hebrew and its sister language Aramaic in a cave in the cliffs amongst the north west shore of the Dead Sea. These were published rapidly but reports kept circulating, circulating that more caves containing more manuscripts were being found. No scholarly consensus had yet emerged as to when the scrolls were written or by whom widely fluctuating dates were assigned to them some even claiming that they had been copied in the Middle Ages. From careful analysis of the published material, Vermeer argued that the Jewish sect behind the scrolls originated at the time of the Maccabean crisis in the middle of the 2nd century BC. It was a brilliant hypothesis which gained many adherents and became a academic orthodoxy. Vermeer himself never saw grounds for modifying it throughout his career. So that's just a little bit about this uh, scholar. And we're going to read a few things about what he has to say about uh, in chapter 8 of his book uh, okay all three synoptic evangelists emphatically state that during the final period of his life Jesus repeatedly announced to his chosen disciples his death and resurrection the gospel of John contains nothing comparable it only an obscure forewarning is given not to the apostles but privately to Nicodemus in the form of a symbolic reinterpretation of Old Testament image. The brazen serpent which was set up by Moses in the wilderness as a talisman to protect the snake bites in Numbers 21 6, 9. As it saved the Jews who looked at it with trust so will the uplifted crucified risen and glorious Jesus given eternal life to the believers in John 3:14. We find another cryptic reference in Matthew's treatment of the sign of John, Jonah alluding to the duration of Jesus' stay in the tomb before the, his resurrection. For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the whale, so will the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Matthew 12.40 Else working Mark, Matthew and Luke are less mysterious. With greater or smaller detail they make Jesus foretell the events of the end of his life. The first occasion is Peter's confession at Caesarea Philippi of the Messiah of Jesus acknowledged by the Apostles Mark 10 30 31 and he began to teach them the Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected by the soldiers and the chief priests and the scribes and be killed and after three days rise again Jesus forbade Peter to proclaim that he was the Christ and in the form of tacit denial of the confession he emphatically foretold the tragedy of his end and his rising from the dead. I just want to say here that um, there are many, many scholars that recognize that in Mark chapter 8, verse 30, 31, that that is really solid historical material because if you go to Philippi, Caesarea Philippi, you'll find it was very, very famous for um, worshipping many gods. There was a, a mountain cutting the mountain. Uh, where all these gods were displayed and uh, like various temples uh, etched into the rock and it's that's where Jesus 
asked Peter what do you think of me and, and Peter says you were the Christ um, so it's got real historical importance and I don't agree with Vermeer that the writers forced forced this predict Jesus prediction that he had of his resurrection into the text anyhow you're right anyhow we'll go on to another video